what gym do you train at? I, I saw some videos of you look like Ninja Quest in Atlanta, but maybe there's a different gym or I'm wrong there. Yeah, Ninja Quest um, ended up closing down from COVID. So I go to um, Atlanta Parkour. Oh, crap. I didn't know that. I should know. I can't keep track of everything in the park world. Yeah. Atlanta Parkour. Oh, very cool. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Who are the who are the coaches there or who are the who are the bigger names at that gym? Uh, one of the coaches' name is Mike. Why do not know this last name? Thanks, Mike. And then another guy, Alex. I don't know how to say his last name, but Mike and Alex. And they're great coaches, and they always help me out whenever I need to. And it's, it's a fun gym to go to. They always change the setup every time, and they're always willing to spot me. Yeah, it's, it's really cool. Do you? What are your goals right now in a parkour context? Do you still want to compete in Red Bull? Do you have movements you want to improve? Do you, like, what are you working on? Right now, I'm gunning for a double A twist. I just want to dub. I want one double twist because twisting has been so hard for me. I just recently got my standing pool outside, and I want to get I, anything twisting is my goal right now. But I'm thinking if Red Bull is a thing this year, I might try to apply for it. But then also, I'm starting to get work on projects now, so I really don't know what I'm going to do. But I, I've always wanted to at least compete or just be a part of a Red Bull. So I think if Red Bull's happening, I'm doing it because I'm kind of now in the mindset to train for it. Like, I, it wasn't a week ago, and then for some reason I saw, like, a Red Bull ad or something. I was like, maybe I should try and get back into training competition mode. But for right now, I just want twisting. Just to have sure, it. okay. Well, it does sound like they work together synergistically. So if you're training as an athlete for like Red Bull, it's going to make you better in the stunt capacity. I mean, it sounds yeah. like maybe the big factor is going to be time. Like, do you have time to do it all? Do you have time to be on here and do here and do here? But I, I imagine that the door for Red Bull is not going to close for you because you're just going to keep getting better. I hope so. I hope so. But it, it is hard because I, I'm either rehearsing or on set like from 8 a.m. to like, 8 p.m. and then I got to go back in the next day at 8 a.m. and I'm like I have no time really right now to to train like maybe I'll try to squeeze in 30 minutes but it, it's been hard to find training time hmm no you have a full-time job no yeah yeah oh one more word of encouragement for you so I've talked to a lot of stunt people who have been you're like they're stunt people like they're not actors maybe they've done some acting classes but they're stunt people they have more speaking roles in films than all the people who are just actors. Like in Portland, I know a handful of stunt people that have that story. And apparently what these stunt people have told me is, well, yeah, we're on the roll for stunts, but then they need somebody to say something or they yeah. decide to put a line in during what I'm doing. And so I just think that everything's going to work right for you because you're in like a pretty cool place where like you're into the industry with stunts, but now you're taking acting seriously. And then mm -hmm. when you get those opportunities, I don't see why it wouldn't work for you in a positive way. Yeah. So I really hope so. I, it'd be great. It'd be really cool. 